all plugged into One World Now. So let's talk. We want to hear from you. Come on, give it a try. And if you like what you see, turn off your TV and do it. Elizabeth L. of Maynard, Massachusetts emailed us this game. She calls it Fruit Tag. She says you'll have fun running around and laughing until your sides hurt. Here's how you play. Everybody picks a name of a fruit. Mm, pineapple. Mango. Mm, peach. Strawberry. Raspberry. Apricots. Banana. One person starts off being it. I'll be it. I run towards another player. Jessica calls out the name of another player's fruit before I have time to tag her. Mango. Then I run toward that new player and try to tag him before he has time to call out another player's fruit. <laughs> if I tag him before he can call out another player's fruit, he's it. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready. All right. Run. Rosemary! Mango! Oh, I can't it! Oh, no! <laughs> Strawberry! <laughs> Caroline! <laughs> Kate! <laughs> Strawberry! What? Ah, ah, ah. No! Oh, no! A uh, mango! That's me! <laughs> oh, darn it! <laughs> Apricot! Apricot! Oh. I know that apricot! Oh yeah, you are. Peach! 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 peach. Raspberry! Apricot. I'm a peach! Buddy. I'm a peach! Okay. Raspberry! <laughs> you guys, you have to oh, run! No, run, Claudia! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Mango! <laughs> Mango's red! Mango. Oh, over here! Ah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Raspberry, okay. Got you. <laughs> Pineapple! You're it! Yeah, that's I, you. I mean, apricot! Banana! <laughs> I'm right at home! What? Mango! Peach! <laughs> Raspberry! Apple! Banana! Strawberry! She said apple! The real apple! Mango! I know. You I said apple! Let's go again. Peach! Raspberry! Plum! Ah! Oh, you're no. right. you're the plum. I know. City Street, a poem by Andreas F. of New Providence, New Jersey. City streets go click, clap, click. Boom, boom. Z, 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 Z. Take a walk in the city and hear all the great sounds. The sound you hear might come clear. Rumble, rumble. Clap, clap, clap. Red light, green light, city stairs. The birds fly, subways below, magazine stands. And that's the end. Hi, my name is Nick. I'm 13 years old and I like to make stuff out of cardboard. My corrugated cardboard chair. I built this crusher to test the strength of the cardboard. I'm testing a nine inch piece of cardboard and how much weight it can hold. That's two pounds, that's four pounds. Okay, that's six. Might want to put them one at a time now. Seven. Crushed. To make the chair, I first looked at photos of other chairs, but then decided to ignore them so I can come up with a guy own original design. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do, I have a good one. My first drawings were cool looking, but would fall apart too easily. My dad helped, he's an architect. And I think it actually could hold up. Finally, I have a design for a really cool chair that works. Now I'm making a half-scale drawing, which I'll need to make the chair and determine how much cardboard I'm going to need to get. This 
the biggest sheet that the store has. And it had to be flat so it could support more weight and to be easier to cut. From the half scale drive, I make a template by doubling the measurements. And it has to be very precise so the pieces fit together right. It takes about 20 minutes to do each piece. One down, four to go. There's 13 pieces all together, five vertical supports and eight cross pieces. Cardboard table, a cardboard room, a cardboard house. Of course, that might be a lot of cutting. Waiter, waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Shh, keep your voice down, or everyone will want one. Ew. <laughs> Today on Cafe Zoom, we're going to show you how to make some cool looking fruit sculptures. First up is this tasty bug from Wendy P. and Jocelyn V. of Maywood, California. Take an apple and cut it and core it. Make sure you wash the apple and all the other fruits you're going to use for your sculpture. This will be your bug's body. Then, using a toothpick, attach a grate to be the bug's head. And if you want to eat it later, make sure to take the two fix out first. Then using peanut butter, here you just dot some on in different places. Attach raisins. See the peanut butter works like glue. It kind of attaches everything to the fruit. But I'm sure it tastes much better than glue. Looks like a cute little ladybug and put on two more dots for the eyes. We'll take, put them right there. Then, break a toothpick in half, and use it for the antennas. And there he is. Wendy and Jaseel call this a buggy feast. Isn't it cute? Next step is an apple carousel, sent in by Rachel L. of San Jose, California. Wash an apple and cut it in half and core it. Then, cut three straws in half. So you have six pieces. Attach the pieces to the two apples. Make sure you get them in straight. If they're slanted, they won't go into the other apple right. And then take the other side, push it in in the right places. Oh. And squeeze. <laughs> there it is, it looks like a carousel. Then put some peanut butter on the back of animal crackers. I love animal crackers, they're so cute. and put them onto the straw. A rhino. And put the other animal on. And do this all the way around, and you have a carousel. Isn't that cute? And here's another apple treat from Lauren W. of St. Charles, Missouri. Take two wedges of apples. Put peanut butter on one side. 
see peanut butter is working its magic tool. It's making things stick together. Kind of puts them on the sides too, so the two sides of the apple stick together. Squash. And take some mini marshmallows. And put them onto the peanut butter. Can you see what it is yet? See, it's a row of teeth in a mouth. Try this at home. You can find all the recipes on Zoom in the Cafe Zoom section of the Zoom website at www.pbs.org. And if you don't have a computer at home, you might find one in the community centers in your neighborhood or your school library. Elijah L. of Enosburg Falls, Vermont, sent us this challenge. How many jumps would it take a frog to jump out of a 30-foot well if each jump he jumps two feet, but between each jump he slides back one foot? How many jumps would it take a frog to jump out of a 30-foot well if each jump he jumps two feet, but between each jump he slides back one foot? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Why don't 26, you just go by ones? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 30. All right. Now put, put, one, put one of the reds in between. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. You don't have to do that. You can just put a line next to it. Little oh, froggy guy. <gasps> okay. He jumps two feet and slides back one. So he's there. So he's at one foot and he's already taken he's one jump. So then he jumps one, one, two feet again. But he slides and back. He slides one. back one. So he's only at two feet. He's at two feet at two. It took jumps. him two jumps to get to two, two feet. feet. Oh yeah, at one jump, he, oh, he's, yeah, yeah, you're right. And he goes, one, he goes one two. two, so he slides, slides back, back to three. Oh. Yeah, and so he jumps so again he jumps, to um, four, and five, he comes to and five. he slides back to so four. He's back at four. So each time he jumps, he slides yeah, back. He slides back. Hmm. Let me see. Five, he's at four, I thought five, had six. suction pads on five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, like. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, um, is that? Let me see. He goes five. <laughs> um, six, seven, six. Another one. Slides back to twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Slides back to twenty-eight. And twenty-nine, thirty. Twenty, tw twenty-eight, twenty-nine, oh. thirty. And he's out of the well at 30, so he doesn't slide back. So, yep, for the last jump. So let's count him. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 29. Just 30 feet. Yeah, but because um, the last jump, he's out of the well, and he doesn't slide back. Oh, yeah, he doesn't slide back. So he goes all the way up here. Boom. Let's see the envelope. Oh, mighty envelope. The answer is in this envelope. May I do the honors? May I? Let's pull. I'll pull it out and you hold it. Let's see if we're right. 29! Yes. 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 That was good. That was tough though. Yeah. 29. Zoom Tales. The Starry Night. Written and illustrated by Ashley V. of Easton, Pennsylvania. The stars shine brightly with the moon. If you wait, you'll see them soon. If you care to watch the night, you'll surely see a wonderful sight. Stars are here, and stars are there. I can't believe they're everywhere. There's the North Star shining bright. Oh, but where's the sun? Oh yeah, it's night. I see the stars. I see them all. I see the dippers, big and small. 
I see the shooting stars that fly and try to catch one as it goes by. Watching the stars can be so much fun. You can watch them until you see the sun. Now that Mr. Sun has come, I know for sure the stars are done. The end. Thank you. Welcome. Waiter, what's this fly doing in my soup? I believe it's the backstroke, madam. Ah! Oh. Here's a zinger that came in on the web from Farron of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Try to name ten body parts that are spelled with exactly three letters. Okay. Ear. Good. Eye. Hold on, hold on, wait. Okay. Eye. Ear. Eye. Eye. Arm. Toe. Hold on, hold on. Ha. Arm. Toe. Leg. Leg. Pum, pum, pum. Um, on. You have one, two, three, four, five. You need five more. Hmm. Uh, okay, come on. Just like observe each other. I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> ribs. Yep, ribs. Good one. Um, uh, uh, trying to use every body part I have, or that I know I have. <laughs> this is not helping. Oh, I think I know one. I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, lid. Yep, good. I was thinking eyelid. I know one. I know two. Okay. Give us a hint. Um, I know one, and it's on your face. Lips. Lip. Yep. Yep. Oh. Um, okay, two more. I want to laugh so bad. <laughs> um, it, it's from here to here, in that area. Gums. Yep, good Gums. one. That was it. Gums. Okay. One more. Okay, how about... Okay, you want a hint? Yes, please. It's from your toe to here. Hip. Hip. Yep. Oh, you just said you say that. I was like, hip, and you said it. Because I have a mind reader. You got ten. Good job, Ryan. Good job. That was awesome. That was... <laughs> Oye, es bien a tus poemas, juegos, zingers, chistes, recetas y otras cosas para hacer. Hey, send your poems, games, zingers, jokes, recipes, and do's. Y te enviaremos el último ejemplar de Zoomerang. And we'll send you the latest issue of Zoomerang. Si ya no enviaste algo, gracias. And if you've already sent something in, thanks. <laughs> What Hands Can Do, by Alex, Melanie, Jennifer, Jessica, and Gloria from the Magnolia Avenue Elementary School in Los Angeles, California. Hands can communicate. Hands can communicate. Hands can dance. Hands can hold a lot of stuff. Hands can write. Hands can't pet. <laughs> Hands can clean themselves. Uh, waiter, may I change this tomato for another vegetable, please? Of course, sir. What's this? 
Well, I threw the tomato into the air and it came down... Squash! Rajan B. of Harrisonburg, Virginia, nominated Jolene W. for today's Zuma Cum Laude. When Jolene was younger, she had a big sister, an adult who wasn't her actual sister, but who volunteered her time and did lots of fun stuff with her. Because she got so much out of this, she decided to give something back to the Big Sisters program. In five years, Jolene has raised over $20,000 from local businesses. Way to go, Jolene. You'll be receiving your Zuma Cum Laude certificate in the mail. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for a night at the opera. Tonight's performance is entitled, I've Come to Marry the Princess, or How to Make a Royal Mess. Sent in by Allison H. of Rochester, Minnesota. I've come to marry the princess. I'll have to ask the king. Someone's here to marry the princess. I'd have to ask the queen. Someone's here to marry a princess. I have to ask the princess. Someone's here to marry you. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Off to the dungeon. I've come to marry the princess. I have to ask the queen. So it's here to marry a princess. I have to ask the princess. <laughs> Email. Send it to Zoom. To whom? Triple W dot TVS dot org. Email. You know to whom? To Zoom. Z 
submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Waiter! Waiter! Yes, madam? Where can I find the recipes for all the delicious foods served here at Cafe Zoom? Well, you can find them in the Cafe Zoom section of the Zoom website at www.pbs.org. But what if I don't have a computer? Well, you can probably use one at your school or local library. Okay. Hey, 